Welcome, Man, Mer, and Beast, to another episode of Tales from Tamriel's Table, Traditional Tea Edition. Yes, that's right. I managed to make that title even more obnoxious. That's just how amazing I am. And it is not quite Oblivion Kitchen because, as you can see, I am by myself. And we will not be making a recipe from the amazing official Elder Scrolls cookbook. But instead, today, we are going to be looking at a recipe from Elder Scrolls Online, Heart's Day Tea. Since Valentine's Day, aka Heart's Day, is coming right up, I thought that would be a good one. And, uh, I mean, oh my gosh, it's a really difficult recipe. Um, I, I would be concerned that I could do it, but I have maxed out my provisioning skill line, so we should, we should be okay. So from ESO, this is what the recipe looks like. Obviously, those are not a lot of ingredients, and there's absolutely no explanation of how you make it. I mean, you just pour it in a bowl and you hit the square button if you're on PlayStation 4. That's how you make recipes, right? Well, not quite, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. So I have modified this recipe a little bit. Um, I have had a taste testing, and everybody that tried it loved it, and myself included. It was very good. Um, we're going to be making it iced which I actually think tastes better. Originally I did this because I was transporting it somewhere and trying to transport hot or even warm tea is really difficult and it just never tastes as good as it does if you brew it right there. So, iced it is. So, we shall begin. So, I have some tea bags. Um, I, obviously this would be better if they were fresh ingredients that we were brewing. Could not find that. I also could not find tea that was just rose. So um, in the effort of not trying to go to multiple places, I settled on one that was a mix of hibiscus and rose hips. I thought that that would be pretty good. It kind of stays with the, the flavor I was looking for. Um, so we're gonna be using tea bags. We're gonna be making just two cups today. Keep it really easy. Um, it'll be just me drinking it, so that should be perfect. I recommend using two tea bags per cup. So in this case, we're doing two cups, that's four tea bags. Um, we'll say it's one tea bag for every corner of the House of Truffles. Moloch Ball, Mithrunas Dagon, Malakath, and Sherry Gorath. <laughs> First step, boiling water. Wow, exciting. Also, don't just love this professional camera work that goes with the professional film grain and amazing audio on this video because this is a professional channel of professional cooks doing professional cook-like things. We're the bestest. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna boil the water, obviously. And since I only have one camera, we're gonna do a little, little amazing camera swoop here. And we're gonna pour it into a heat-proof container that is advised obviously. So we're doing two cups as mentioned prior. Tea bags are in there. Doo -doo -doo. Mm. Okay, that's two cups. I was also very excited that this particular tea has such a good color. Now, once you have it in your heat proof container, you should let it seep for about five minutes. Doesn't have to be exact, but that's about what's recommended. And while it's doing that, we will prepare the rest of the tea. All right, tea bags are seeping. We're gonna need another container and we're gonna need a couple of things for that. Here are our other ingredients. Now, while that's seeping, want to put in the bottom of your jug. It should be a little heat proof and definitely cold proof because we're making this iced. I measure so precisely, I don't. So you want to take honey, this is honey, and you want to kind of coat the bottom of whatever container that you are using. Obviously if you are making more, you want to use more honey. You just want to get it in the bottom there. 
then we're going to do one teaspoon of vanilla extract. If you would like this to be sweeter, because it does have kind of a tangy, bitter undertone when it's done, you could use more of this. Um, I found that the teaspoon was pretty good mix of just adding a little bit of sweet to it. And then you're going to need an orange. Because we're going to add a little orange zest, I think they call this basically orange peels, um, we're going to add a little orange zest in there. If you don't want the citrus, you could leave this part out easily. Um, I happen to really like this. It kind of blends in nicely with the floral and the sweet and tangy, and I liked that it gave just a little bit of an interesting kick. It's a little more exciting than just flowery tea. So we're going to take a grater, and you're going to grate some of this on there. And again, this just goes right in your container for later. And how much you add is entirely up to you. I like it to be just a bit because I, I like this to just be a little hint. What do they call that? Flavor notes. You might, you might get a tasting note of. So that's good. Put that in the bottom there. This is going to be our container. So honey, vanilla, little orange zest. right into a cup as well but if you prefer to be fancy and have a serving pitcher that works as well I like these strainers that have a you know a little thing so you can just hook it there and uh, we're gonna attempt to do this with one hand I'm not sure how that's gonna work so there it is it um you can't smell it obviously on a video it smells really good so we're going to just pour this in So as you can see, the strainer is catching all of those little bits of orange that we had in there. That just keeps it from getting in the tea. I'm not going to be able to get the last little bit with one hand. we will just call that good. So there's all the little bits. Wow, this camera doesn't do that very well. <laughs> so professional. At least the lighting's better today, right? So we have it in there. It's a beautiful color. Now we're going to sample it. All right. It is in here. We have a lovely cup some ice. Look at that. Looks pretty darn good. Ooh, ah, let's try it. It's really good. 
I'm very proud of this because it actually is really good. <laughs> so it tastes, you can taste the, the floral, the rose and the hibiscus, and it tastes a little sweet, but there's like a bitter kick at the end of those. Um, so the honey and the vanilla really offsets that, so you still have kind of a sweet and bitter kind of taste. It's hard to describe. Um, I mean, iced tea is always a little bit bitter, so it tastes like that, but with a little floral and a little sweet. And then the orange just adds a little extra kick to it that makes it a little more exciting than just a floral tea. So, Hearts Day Tea. Iced, very good. Pretty easy to make. Um, I will put the written uh, recipe down in a pinned comment below. So if you fancy trying it yourself, you can. And uh, thanks for joining. Happy Hearts Day to everyone, and I will see you next time.